Hello, and this is my review of the Wicked Lasers Evo laser that I got about two days ago. And I've used enough to know that it's pretty cool, and I thought I'd do a review because when I was looking up this laser, I saw that there weren't a lot. So I'm going to be posting this to YouTube, probably my Facebook page, so my friends can know what I got in case they're interested. Now this, obviously, if you've gone to the website, this is what the laser looks like. It's the Evo. It has, um, it's the Philly, Philly, it's the 50 milliwatt version. I got the lowest power version, which can burn, which I'll show in a minute. Not the full power, the full power, I mean, yeah, the full power can burn, but I didn't get the full power, which is 100 milliwatts, because that's $300, and I think that's too much for something that's not really useful, but just fun to have. Um, it comes with the laser, obviously. It comes with a carrying case, which you can put the laser at the top. This is Velcro, which you put down. And then right here, this goes on like your belt loop or your belt. And it has a clip, and then it has Velcro too. So it's very secure when you put it on your belt. It's not going to fall off because Velcro and the button. And that's a very tight button too. It also has a little um, side holder right here, which I like to put my lenses that I got. This is an extra $40, but you can get lenses. It comes with the smart port, which you can plug into the laser and control it with your smartphone. If you don't have the Bluetooth module that you can plug into the smart port, you have to use the wire, which is, they get this, it's pretty lengthy. I thought it was just going to be like this long, but no. It's, uh, it gets there in length. It comes with safety goggles. In case you don't want to look at it really brightly, like when you look at the beam when it's at full power, not the beam, but the dot, on like a white wall, it does, when you look away, you do see dots, and it's really hard to see stuff, especially read, but it goes away after like five minutes. It comes with a uh, strap that you can put on the laser and put around your wrist, so in case it falls, it doesn't go anywhere. It comes with this whole caution thing, you know, don't point at your friends, don't point it at Planes, which I don't see why people point at other people. That's just retarded. Because uh, um, you're just going to get them banned if they complain. Uh, and then it comes with the manual, which is very thick paper. Like, this is high quality paper. I don't know why I'm emphasizing this because it's just a manual, but it's really nice quality manual. Let's put some of these away that don't matter. Now, as I said, the laser, it can burn without the focusing lens. Well, okay, first, let me go over this laser. Um, it has two buttons. It has a button right here and a button on the bottom. When this is off, it's completely off. This doesn't do anything. Now, if I press this, this starts to flash. And that means it's kind of on. You have to enter in a code, which... It should tell you in the manual. Yeah, it does. And it's... I don't know if it's on the website, but it is in the manual to turn this on. So if your friend takes it and thinks he's going to be all cool and pointed at people, he can't turn it on. Because the code is very simple, but you wouldn't think of it off the top of your head. Like, you wouldn't think of it in a million years. So now it's on, and when you turn it on, it stays lit. And there's the laser on lowest power. And then I'll turn the power up. It gets really bright. And even with all this light from my computer, from my light, you can see the beam. So if I turn off the lights, it would be a pretty thick beam. And in person, you can see the beam really well. And as I said, it can burn stuff. So if I hold it here, this black, you can see the smoke already. It doesn't really light on fire, but it does get hot enough to burn and make smoke. It has to be a black surface, though. If you try white, it just won't work, because all the heat gets 
reflected all the light and energy. Now, it does come with lenses. One lens is a focusing lens, which focuses the lens down right here. And um, basically, that just, it's like taking a magnifying glass out in the sun and burning stuff. It just condenses the beam so there's more power into a smaller spot so it burns faster. I'm not going to show that because basically it just makes smoke faster. I'm pretty sure you can imagine that. It doesn't like light it on fire and blow up the whole planet. Not that powerful. So you can take off this cap which is kind of like a cool protective cap. Looks awesome from the laser glass inside. Then you got all of these uh, lenses, which I'm not going to show all of them. I will show my favorite though. Then you just screw this on. And there we go. And basically it makes the one dot into a lot of dots. And it's really big. Like I thought it was going to be smaller, but no, 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 no. It's huge. Um, um, looks like I'm running out of battery. Gotta finish this up. So you got the lenses. Got Google right there. The lenses are, it comes with six. Five minus the focusing lens. That's just for heat, basically. This laser, uh, it's really fun just to play with. Like most people think, oh, it's just a laser, but they've only seen a red lasers. The green ones look cool and they're really powerful. If you uh, get ones past, I know the 5 milliwatts for like 20 bucks on Amazon, they're really bright and you can see the beam at night, but this one you can see the beam in day and that's just awesome. This takes two AA batteries, so it doesn't require a lot of power. Uh, it will last about two to one hour. I'm guessing like one hour on highest power and two hours on lowest. Uh, I used it for about a day and a half like a lot, and then the batteries ran out. It doesn't gradually get less powerful, it just shuts off. And that's how you know, and then this starts blinking rapidly, and that's how you know new batteries. They recommend not getting rechargeable batteries, but I'm pretty sure USB cell rechargeable batteries would be fine, because they use a different method than normal rechargeable batteries. Because if you use this a lot, it will probably eat through your wallet of batteries. Anyway, that's the laser. It looks awesome too. Has a really nice grip so you don't drop it. Even though a second ago I did, but I kicked it with my foot because, I mean, that's kind of slow to fall, even though it hurts my foot. Logic, people. Turn it off. Now that goes off, and now I have to enter in the code when I turn it back on. Oh, also, if you hold the button and then turn this off, I mean on, and then enter in the code, um, it will only stay on at full power if I hold this down. While I'm holding it down, that's only when it's going to do it. Actually, why don't I just show it? Why do I talk so much? So now, only when I press it, it'll stay on. The other way, it would, uh, it would only stay on, like when I press it, it would just stay on. So this is useful for, I don't know, pointing and stuff? I've, I, I have no idea. Anyway, this video is getting a little bit long. And that's the Evo Laser on wickedlasers.com. You can get it. This model was 150 bucks. Uh, went to 200 because I got the lenses, which I strongly recommend. They're a lot of fun. It's got all kinds of ones, and then you can combine them to make even more lenses, which is really cool. Um, since they all just screw off, and you can combine them. Anyway, if you're in lasers, I really recommend this. Don't get the Nano, because that's not very cool. It's like a normal laser, but 100 bucks. Spend the uh, extra 50 bucks and get this awesome looking programmable laser that's just epic. Did I mention that? Oh yeah, you can program it. You can plug it into a computer and program it, so when you press the button so many times, it will do something like maybe SOS. So it's... It's definitely a really awesome laser. Um, basically, that's all. And it's perfectly legal to carry around in like town, wherever you want, because they're not illegal. 
Even though I'm sure someone would come up to you and be like, hey sir, put that lightsaber away. You, you're on your right. Anyway, thank you for looking at this review. If you have any questions, then just comment and I will answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching.